happening. So in this video, we're going to build an application utilizing OpenAI's fine tuning for your chatbot, your data. Now, granted, this is a proof of concept, but it is something you can take back that is going to be tangible that can have an impact on your business. So what is fine tuning? Fine tuning is taking a pre-trained model, in our case, ChatGPT 3.5, taking a training file and providing a little bit more information to it. And then the output of that is going to be a model adapted to our information and our data. This is part two. Part one was a step-by-step -step process of creating the training file, uploading the training file and creating the model. This one is going to go right into kicking off the process from an auto, fully automatic and then creating the user-friendly chatbot with React, calling a Python API that will call our new fine-tuned model. Quick visual, React UI, Python API, and our ChatGPT fine model. So let's have some fun. All right, so now to the fun stuff. We're going to now create the application. To start off, I suggest going to GitHub, uh, forking your projects or cloning, whatever you like doing. Uh, definitely do the README file. I'm not a big fan of usually reading all README files, uh, but this one does have a lot of little steps in it that may help you out. Um, so definitely review that when you can. One of the key things you want to make sure you do is is do an upgrade if you've done OpenAI development prior to this because it does need the newest one to for the fine model process to work. Uh, reading through it all, we're going to go ahead and create the fully automatic. So let's go ahead and get started. This process does take a good 20 minutes. So um, I've already brought up the information. Uh, we're going to quickly review the JSON lines file. The JSON lines file looks very similar to JSON, except mostly it doesn't start with the array and usually doesn't have commas between all the stuff but this will basically be your same thing if you're used to chat complete with your system user and assistant um, you go through you put in your user commands and assistant and this is training the model to respond like you want it to do all right so we're going to go ahead and kick this off open up a terminal window run this i think it's actually in a directory yeah, it is create model list and then we're going to Python it with full automatic. All right, so that process completed. Took a little longer than normal. Uh, if you look through here, it did complete the file upload in 35 seconds and then took a while to create the model, almost close to, I don't even know what that is, 19, 18, 19, 20 minutes, something like that. Uh, but after that, um, it did give us what we need here. And this is what we need here is this fine tuning model. We're gonna go ahead and just copy that we're going to go ahead and open up the API. Uh, in the API, we're going to look for where it says change this. So that's kind of nice. Just paste in that value you got and go ahead and hit save. And we're going to go ahead and we'll, we'll quickly walk through there. Uh, but all this does is run the chat complete that we're probably all used to. Um, takes in the prompt from the, uh, which will be, the React front end and does exactly what you expect to do, displays the results. So we're going to go ahead and clear this out. So the app one, again, super simple. It's using Flask, it will take in your information coming over and call the API. Super simple stuff, runs on right down here. Uh, this has all been deployed to uh, uh, DigitalOcean, so this stuff does deploy and functions correctly. I'll go ahead and clear Python, which is app. All right, so now that that's working, all right, so we're going to go ahead and bring up the React application now. Uh, going through the README file, again, super important, does teach you this is a Node.js app, and talks about how to do all the installs when you first get it with the required information and 
um, the start. So uh, one of the one things that you probably need to look at is under components, fetch data. So your fetch data is the one that's going to be calling your API. So if you do deploy this to uh, your local systems, uh, any other web servers, DigitalOcean, or wherever you, Amazon, wherever you guys push these things, um, this is where this is the actual call you will need to modify. Uh, other than that, it's all set it and forget it. So we're going to go ahead and kick off uh, our process here. This is npm going back and forth between Node and Python is always fun. Um, nothing super fancy, just comes up with a basic uh, screen. I can just say, let's say hello. It should respond with basic stuff. So this will function just like ChatGPT that you're used to. All right, so that's good to go. He's working there. Uh, I can ask him any anything I normally want, but I'm going to go ahead and ask him something with some of the information I trained on, which was... Uh, let's see, what is your, your, what is your mailing address? So here, it comes up and says, your mailing address is 123 Michael Street. Uh, so you got to love that. And that actually comes from uh, the JSON lines when I'm going through and changing it or training it. You will see when I ask it information on... Uh, mailing addresses and all this it actually tells them this information here so this is kind of the stuff that we trained on we can ask it any other questions uh, need a re refund all right so perfect support automatically says I need a refund and and links back to my personal information um, dude Forgot my pass. Dude, forgot my password. All right, so does exactly what you want to do. Uh, I did add a, a clear, I think, a button there so you can clear and start over, but should get you up and running. A quick proof of concept. It is really close to being functional. And a quick disclaimer, I'm not a React expert developer. I threw this UI together pretty fast, so uh, it would probably need some tender love and care. But there you go. Fully functional chatbot with your data using fine tuning. Enjoy. Have a great day.